everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I want to talk about how the lack of human touch can affect us. And I'm not in a bad mood there, <laughs> DJ. <laughs> he said if I don't laugh within the first, I don't know, so many seconds that I must be in a bad mood. I'm never in a bad mood when I'm doing my videos. I may be tired, but never in a bad mood. But anyway, I want to talk about how the human touch can affect us. And, you know, they say laughter is the best medicine. Well, so is hugging. So have you had a hug today? If not, you know, there is a, there is, like, there's a laughing therapy. You can also hug yourself. And that's supposed to help release endorphins. I know it sounds crazy. Hug yourself. Yes, you can hug yourself. <laughs> you just take your arms and, like, you're going to hug. Oh, and you just hug. <laughs> I know, it's so crazy. Or if you like to hug your belly, you hug your belly. Some people hug down low, some people hug up high. But uh, you've heard of babies that are, have um, the lack to, th lack to thrive? Or is that how I said mm -hmm. it before? Lack of thriving, yeah. yeah lack Something like that. They, 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 they are lacking to thrive. And it's usually babies that you think of are in orphanages. Well, we don't have any orphanages here, but there are orphanages in other countries. And they have found that babies that don't have the human touch don't do as well. And the it's not the fact that the orphanage is bad, but there are bad orphanages, I'm sure. But the fact that there's not enough help to hold and give these babies one-on-one. -on -one. So um, the, the, the lack that we're going through right now without human touch, there's nobody shaking hands, there's nobody patting somebody on the back, there's nobody kissing your hand, like, oh, here, Mr. Jim, you can kiss me, there. All right, I just got kissed, I did, I did. Well, it, it releases an endorph, the oxytocin that you need is what it does. It makes you that feel-good drug, you know. <laughs> and you don't even have to take a drug, but it's a feel-good thing. Um, it also protects you against illnesses. So, you know, we need we need this mm -hmm. to um, keep us healthy. I've got, I've actually got a paper here to help me along because you know how I forget things. And it makes no, you... No, not you. Oh, yeah. And it makes you happier. <laughs> you get happier. And it reduces your fears. That's what a hug can do. Because, like, have, you know, when kids are scared, they, you, your mom, you go to your mama and your mama will give you a big old hug. Or even older people can do the same thing. Like if you're mm -hmm. feeling feeling kind of, oh, I really need a hug. You know, they say, do you need a hug? And you get a hug, and then you feel better. It's, and they've also shown that, and this is stuff that I've read, that, that they could prick you with a pin, but if you're being hugged, your brain gets confused because it doesn't know where the pain is, and your pain is less, so it reduces pain to have a hug. So if you have a teddy bear, you can hug a teddy bear. That helps you. I have a little video, that, or not a video. I have a link that I'm going to put. I don't dare put the video in because it's not my video, so I can't put it in. But there is a link I'm going to put in at, that you can check. And it's about a lady, and the lady's name was... Caroline Ellis, she um, wanted to give her mother a hug on on Mother's Day, I think it was. On mother, yeah, the, have, have their have so that they could cuddle their grandma on Mother's Day is what it was. And so what she did is she hung a plastic up, put some arms in it, and then there was um, so she could hug, and then there was another set of arms on the other side that they could hug, and so that they could hug, and it was the first time she got to hug. I guess one of her grandchildren or something and you need this you need the the hug and you know some people like to hug a long time some people like to hug oh, just real quick uh, like okay I hugged you or some people just like to lean in they're not huggers at all but mm, they're distant so that's what I wanted to talk about how and yesterday I did laughing laughing is good medicine I hope it, it releases endorphins so we start out this new year with a little bit of love and hug and laugh and <laughs> whatever. So that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.